Welcome to DIY McLeod channel. Thanks for checking out the video. The other day I was in Rockler and I saw these speaker kits. I actually bought both that they had, the double and the single, and decided to build a housing for the single kit. I thought it would be simple. I bought a nice thick piece of oak, 2.25 inches thick. Thought, oh, I'll just make a simple housing. But then I jumped on Fusion 360 and complicated it from there. So I decided to go with four pieces in total. Two pieces of the oak, which are two and a quarter inch thick. And then two pieces of cherry wood, which are about 0.75 inches thick. I realized in my design I had a flaw. I put these four arms on the top piece with the cone, but they were so thin that the machining had deformed a couple of them. So I cut those two off and left the other two on and I really liked that design better. So I just sanded it down to flat. I didn't have to recut a new part. And so I was happy about that. And then I went back to Fusion to edit the two cherry pieces before I cut them to take those two arm parts off. It ended up being a good thing in the end, but in the beginning I was a little worried about it. As soon as my lights cut out on my camera for some reason, uh, you can see that the piece starts to detach from the spoil board. And the reason is I had to remove the hold downs, but I still had double-sided tape, but there just wasn't enough surface to hold it. So the piece actually detaches and part of it does break. I had to recut a different piece of the cherry for the top part where the speaker actually goes in. All in all, it came together pretty well for what it is and what I really was making this for I thought it would be cool in a golf cart in the cup holder something about the size of a coke can or so and if you put it in the cup holder and then you have the cone to bounce the noise around I did put a little speaker hole port in there for the air to travel through uh, so the speaker driver doesn't have to work as hard and I believe that does work a little bit even though it is a small hole it is a small speaker I uh, did not use any glue on this design because I may want to take it apart or change things in the future and I wasn't sure it was all going to work out anyway and the rest of it is press fit like the speaker and the Bluetooth and battery component part. Uh, that's all press fit so I didn't need any glue for that part as well. If you enjoy these types of videos, feel free to check out some of my other videos on my channel. I have some build videos, a good amount of CNC, some random builds out there as well, some 3D printing and so forth. So feel free to check that out. Also feel free to subscribe if it's something you're into. I'm using this mixture of beeswax and olive oil that I made like a year ago. And all it does is kind of give a shine to the material and allow the grain to pop out. And as you can see, this grain on this oak is really nice. It's a really pretty grain. I'm guessing it's coming from a limb of the tree and that's why it's crossed like that. But I'm actually not 100% sure. So if you do know, feel free to leave that in the comments because the wood grain is really, really nice. And this is where I realized I had messed up, kinda. I mean, I don't really blame myself for this. It tells you to drill a hole one and seven eighths inch wide. And uh, I used my CNC. I'm sure I was right about that because they press fit in fine, but the battery wouldn't fit. The battery was too long. It was longer than would fit in that hole. And if I knew that ahead of time, I could have figured a way around it, but what I ended up having to do, I didn't want to show on video because I feel fairly capable with electronics. I mean, I built some things in the past in my past videos. You can go check them out, but I feel okay with electronics. So I figured a way around it, but I don't know if everybody would feel as comfortable doing that. I didn't want to show it in the video in case somebody tried to copy me and it went awry. It ended up working out great. I love it. I mean, this is by far the best project I've ever completed, I feel, at least as far as aesthetically. And so 
something I'm just truly happy with. small and it shouldn't mean that much to me but it does it's it's my favorite project by far and anybody I've shown it to they've loved it and maybe they're just being nice but I truly think this is the nicest project I've ever gotten a chance to do and if you get the chance to do this this is a great gift idea well thank you for checking out this video feel free to check out my other YouTube videos and my channel see if there's anything that interests you if there is check it out